Well, it's Andy from Finlingo, and today I'm going to use the CFA Total Recall app to solve uh, Chebyshev's inequality. A question I actually like is it turned up on my CFA exam, which helped me uh, remember it to this day. Now, today we're using the, uh, the Google Android version of, of our app. Um, obviously, you can download that from the Google Play Store, and you can download the uh, Apple version from the Apple App Store. So we'll come back to that in a second. Let me just first of all explain Chebyshev's inequality. Now it's named after the Russian genius um, Pavnuty Chebyshev, who in 1867 proved the following. If there's any probability distribution, and it doesn't matter what shape it is, uh, it can be a normal distribution, it can be a, no a distribution with three peaks, it can be a square distribution, it can be a triangular distribution, it can be leptokurtic, platykurtic, doesn't matter. As long as it's a stand. Uh, sorry, a probability distribution, and it has a mean and it has a standard deviation, then it must follow this inequality. And what's Pe uh, Chebyshev trying to find out? Well, let's just take a normal distribution. I'll just draw one of those for you quickly, like that. There we are. Um, now, we take a standard deviation. There's mu, and we'll go two standard deviations that way plus, and we'll go two standard deviations that way minus. What's the minimum um, percentage of outcomes which must be between those two standard deviations for any probability distribution, whether it's got triple top, platykurtic, leptokurtic, whatever. And that's what Chebyshev's inequality gives you. It gives you the minimum percentage of any distribution. It could be the number of words in a typical blog article. It, it, can, be, it can be anything. So let's get to it then on the CFA Total Recall app to figure out how to answer uh, any questions that come up. And hopefully I've got mine right in my exam. So it's on uh, reading seven. So let's get on to reading seven, which is uh, statistical concepts and market returns. And it's quite a way down. So I have to look for a dragon. Can I find a dragon? There's a dragon. So let's click that. And there's the question. So Neve Williamson has assembled a distributed data set of dividend rates What's the minimum percentage? And the magic number is 3.76. So it's three, it's quite wide. 3.76 standard deviations away from the mean. It doesn't matter what the shape of the distribution is. Let's first of all take a look at some help. So there we get the magic equation. So it's 1 minus 1 over k squared, where k is the standard deviation. And that must be greater than 1, otherwise you end up with 0. So it's got to be greater than 1. As long as it is, let me use the phone and not the... Uh, the app. So and up we get a, we get an example as well for you to play with. So let's get back to the question. So the magic number here is 3.76 and we have to use that equation. So let me go to the calculator which I actually have on, a, on an Apple phone over here. So that's going to be 1 minus brackets and then 1 divided by brackets and then 3.76 squared and then brackets brackets equals so it's 92927. So I'm looking for 92 points. Oh yeah, multiply by 100 to get a percentage. So I'm looking for 92.93. Do I have that anywhere? I have it in A. Pretty close one there at C. Let's just go with A. So let's cross fingers. Oh, I need to go back to my Android app. And um, we'll just go with A. Ready? Oh, yes! We've got it. And there's an explanation for it of Chebyshev's inequality and how to answer it. Now, um, make sure that your calculator is in AOS mode and not chain mode. We have a video on how to do that. Or just figure out how to answer it in whichever preferred method you have. I, th I think I used to store things and then do one minus the store recall version. Um, but just get comfortable with a method. Let's take a look at the next question. There we are. Henry Kerr has gathered a distribution set of returns. Uh, I'm going to leave this one for you to do for homework. I'll see you next time.